Holdings. This is really the mirror image of Zillow in China. This is China's Zillow. Works in the same concept, business structure, and the way they operate is really the same as uh, concrete foundation of Zillow. And we're testing this 50 day right now, 50 day moving average. I know I covered this in the past before. And we're here in a symmetrical triangle. We broke out, test resistance again, got rejected, came back, back tested right on the symmetrical triangle from the first video I posted on it, covering it, gapped up, came back up above that 50, and now we broke down below the 50, once again, hovering around. As far as the fundamental goes, we know what's going on with China. We know uh, as far as the real estate crisis is going on over there. Seven, I wanna say 70% of all Chinese investors are in real estate. They have all their eggs in one basket, and their real estate Super bubble really is is starting to uh, the air is starting to come out of it. It's double what 2008's real estate uh, assets were. I want to say it's four times the real estate market is four times the size of their GDP and two times the size of the United States GDP. It is insane how uh, disruptive that this event and this crisis could. Uh, affect the entire global market entire global economy they've they've they're they've got building developers that continue to build outside in the outskirts of shanghai and beijing some hour two hours i want to say because the prices were getting too expensive for a lot of the workers and the regular uh, average cost of living uh income to afford a house inside the cities so they just kept building and building and building and they're about two hours outside the outskirts of beijing and shanghai and now some of these brand new modern built homes are completely empty i mean there's ghost towns out there nothing but ghost towns there's even a city i forget the name of it where i want to say all the people of italy could fit inside the houses of this city ghost town so it's a it's a breathtaking thing to watch it's really underreported and there's just a whole lot going on over there i could keep going on and uh, uh keep talking about this for hours over and over but hey, anyways we get back to the technicals here um i want the uh, twenty five thirteen resistance for an entry short trade setup i'd like to bob it down um, not sure if we're going to get that we gapped up looks like a false breakout potentially on the daily this is the daily chart not the greatest but i do like a potential evening doji star here so you got your first candle green up then you got a uh, doji star where really these traders were indecisive where uh, the bulls see the bulls were in charge this uh, uh the day of uh, 131 so uh, january 31st bulls were in complete control february in decisive move and then you get your huge rejection here the following day that's an evening doji star looking pattern i do like it and uh maybe if the market opens i like to start uh scaling in some shorts this was be a this would be an aggressive short trade setup targeting that 2032 50 day moving average resistance here if we get that move up which is really another 0.78 percent up to that 50 day moving average another 1.3 percent you could set some stops up above it backfills this gap and uh, you could set some stops maybe above 2102 2158 you know if you really wanted to widen them 8.9 percent because a lot percentage terms it, it's a lot in bke i mean I could I could drag this down here and you'd see right here all the way down to 15 that's 21% that's a 21% drop it looks small here this is logarithmic scaling and everything's a lot larger as far as the drops go um yeah so I'll start scaling in here looks like a breakdown we got a bearish looking daily pattern and I'm going to start scaling in if we can get that pop up above 
and we'll see what happens we'll see uh maybe we can open up here start scaling in here if not again like i said the best scaling moment is up in this 2115 great resistance right here it had been a nice move if i had seen this below i'd stop paying attention to this really and took my off i took my eye off of it but that would be your ideal that's the sweet spot i love it and um again we'll just have to play this again this is an aggressive move I've been struggling to find a lot of great short trade setups as of as of late. We don't know. So um, this is an aggressive trade setup again. And like I said, again, we'll see how it plays out. If we do get up there again, I think I'd like the first target. We'll call it a... Uh, Bottom of this gap here off the uh, November 8th so that would be that would be gunning my first target minor support the greatest looking support it's it's real choppy but uh, that first target would be good for a 8.6% scalp and I'd like to dig out I guess we could go one more here. Oh, minor support. Yeah, I, I could see them going right through it. Stocks tend to fall a lot faster than they rise. So um, we'll see how that plays out. Th those would be the targets as of now. So that first first target for 8% drop, second target 720 at 14% drop. And that 1572 for a 21% drop. Um, but the ultimate, I think this trend line would also coincide with this level. So yeah, you're you're talking about dual resistance uh at 1720, right on the money, gun to that 1572. But as I said, this leg down here, I measured this leg at a 69% drop. And that's where I think we could potentially head is this 741 level. So if you could get even, I guess, from the 50 day moving average down to here, that's a big drop. But this is the exact measurement. And it, it, it's amazing how many times you see a, a, a near perfect identical measurement from one leg to the next leg. Call it 741 would be the ultimate uh, big shorts trade setup. And as far as that, as far as this trading range, trading range building up with massive amount of energy here, ready to spit fire. If the bulls break out above 2513, I think we'll have a big Chinese, maybe China central bank, huge easing program, jack interest rates to the floor and. Uh, breakout above 2513 would be really bullish and uh, give you your buy off. By then, you'll be uh, probably breaking that 200-day moving average too. So we'll see how it plays out. Keep you updated on this one.